Hi, in this video I want to show you this mini fry pan by Joey. It's the Eggy New Ceramic Coating, the natural healthy choice it says. So let's go ahead and open it up and wash it and make some breakfast because I am starving. Oh, this is nice. It's got a really nice, I guess it's the coating, right? Feels really good. So it's brand new, so I'm gonna wash it. I love the handle, right? It's cute, isn't it? So let's go ahead and wash this and make some eggs. And I really think I'm just gonna go with one egg because this is meant for one egg. So I'm gonna have a single egg here with this little pan. And you know, <laughs> if you want three eggs, I guess you could use it three times. Uh, maybe you can make two eggs in this pan, but I guess the good thing about a pan like this is that it keeps you from eating too much. It's also really nice because you can store it, so it makes it really easy to store. So let's just set the pan there. I'm gonna turn on the burner on medium, and I'm gonna dry this with a paper towel because my hands are wet, so I'm just gonna dry it with a paper towel, get the eggs, and we'll get going. Now, I'm gonna just read the directions on the pan really quickly just to make sure it doesn't say anything about like not using uh, oils. Some pans, they recommend that you don't use oils. Instructions on back, let's see what it says. Cook with low heat only. Cut with butter, margarine, or cooking oil, okay. Do not use metal utensils on gas stoves. Keep the flame smaller. Okay, so they do want you to coat it with oil. Some of the pans out there um, that you can buy, um, they recommend that you don't use oil. Uh, not the case with this one. So I don't mind using oil. I'm actually used to using oil. So even on the pans that say no oil, I always tend to forget and I end up using oil. So I'm gonna use um, a little bit of olive oil. I've got some olive oil spray here. That's probably more than enough. And let's go ahead and pop an egg in there and see how this cooks. All right, let's close the refrigerator here. Let's see how the egg looks in this pan. Yeah, so I mean, you could probably make, whoops, you could probably make two eggs in this pan. You could probably do it um, if you really wanted to. Um, I think I'm gonna take a chance. I think I'm gonna try to make two. Now, this is not really made for two eggs, but I kind of want two eggs, and so let's try it. So let's put this little eggy pan to the test with two wonderful eggs. So it's on five and a half out of 10 right now. That's what the burner's set at. So that's a little bit above medium. You're supposed to use low heat, but I am so hungry. I am starving. I have not eaten since, well, since I went to bed, right? Because this is breakfast. It's a beautiful morning here. And we're gonna use this little eggy pan to make some wonderful eggs. I love eggs, it's probably one of my favorite meals. Oh yeah, look, it's already starting to cook. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit and then I'll turn it down once it really starts to cook just to speed this up because this is you know, an unedited real video of you know, using this pan. So if it's bad, we'll know, it's gonna come out in the video. So right now it's on eight, which is a little bit high. You see the pan turning the heat up. I love this little handle, it's really cute, right? It's really cute. Perfect for like a gift, like a Christmas gift, a birthday gift, an anniversary gift. Any type of gift, you could give this as a gift. I'm gonna put some bagels in the, uh, in the toaster while that egg cooks. I'll let you watch the egg cook so you can see how the pan performs. I'm gonna go with one bagel. I'm gonna resist having two. I only got two eggs, so I think one bagel is good enough. Oh, it's really starting to cook there. I got a knife to cut my bagel. Make sure it's nice and cut. It's one of those semi-pre-cut bagels. You still have to use a knife for. All right, bagel is in the toaster and the eggs are cooking on the stove. Really nice. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. Very, very nice. There's something in there. I'm gonna get it out. I don't know what it is. I think it was part of the egg. It looks like a little, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna investigate it. Yeah, it's just part of the egg. It looks really gross and weird. It's just part of the egg. Yeah, because the pan was washed. So I think I saw something fall in there when uh, I put the egg in. So it's starting to cook. I've got 
a spatula here. Oh no, the one I wanted to use. No, it's here. Here it is. I have a very thin spatula, so probably a good idea to use something like this. It says don't use metal utensils. I don't have, I have some metal utensils still. I used to have a really good metal spatula, but in any case, we don't want to use that with this pan. Okay, let's just let it cook a little bit more. Right now it's at four and a half. I've lowered the heat out of 10. It's really cooking there. Very nice, right? It smells really good. It's not sticking at all. It sticks to the spatula, but it doesn't stick to the, to the pan. You need a non-stick spatula. <laughs> you need to make an egg spatula. That's, that should be the invention. An egg spatula. There we go. Very nice. Wow, it's whistling. I don't know if you can hear that. It's creating like a, like a low whistle. I really want to flip the eggs, but it's very difficult. So it's really meant for one egg, right? This is really a one egg pan. Oh, look at that. And then I'm just going to slide it over because I don't want it to come out of the pan. That was a miracle flip. If I was a real chef or a better chef, I would, right, because we can all be chefs. Anyone who cooks is a chef. I could flip it like a pancake and make it land in the eggy, but I don't want to risk that and lose my breakfast. Plus, we want to see how this actually cooks. So, I think it's getting there. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my plate. So pretty cool. You can make two eggs in this. That's pretty amazing. I was really thinking only one. And when I put the egg in, I thought, you know, let's take a chance here. Let's try to make two eggs here in our little eggy. Yeah, eggy. I believe that's what it was called. Eggy. Let's go check the packaging again. Eggy. Yeah, it's the, yeah, the eggy. The Joey eggy. All right, that's good. I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to get the plate. And let's just back the camera up here. Here's the plate. There's my knife for my bagel. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it just rolls out. Look at that. Totally nonstick. So very nice. Cool, right? Happy with my purchase. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Mm. Eating the egg off the spatula. Really good. So if you're looking for a nice egg pan, I definitely recommend this one. It works well. Good luck.